Once upon a time in a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a curious- What you just saw has been made by only using AI. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore three amazing AI tools that's gonna turn your text into an amazing animation. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about text to animation by only using AI tools. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and make sure to don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. First things first, of course, we need to go ahead and generate our very own story. In order to do that, we're gonna use this amazing tool called ChatGPT, and this is where we could go ahead and type our prompt. I'm just gonna go ahead and write this prompt. Write a short kid story about a boy exploring his village in about 200 words. After typing your prompt, let's just go ahead and click on the send message right here, and it will now go ahead and generate the story for us. Once it has finished generating our story, we could now go ahead and type this additional prompt. Write a mid journey prompt to generate the image for every sentence of this story. This will generally help us later on towards the video, so make sure to go ahead and watch the video. After typing this exact same prompt, just go ahead and send message again, and it will go ahead and generate this prompts for us. After that, we could now go over into step 2. If you don't have a mid-journey subscription, we have this alternative tool called Leonardo AI. But if you have a mid-journey subscription, just go ahead and use that. But for a free user like me, let's just go ahead and use this alternative. As you can see, there's a lot of fantastic images right here that we could go ahead and take some inspiration from. For example, we have this art right here and this is the prompt. You could go ahead and definitely take some inspiration from this photo right here. Now that's out of the way, we could now go ahead and generate our very own images. Just go on over into user tools right here, click on AI image generation and you will be presented with this page. After that, let's just go back to our chat GPT and let's go ahead and copy our first prompt and let's go ahead and enter it to this text box right here. After typing it in, we could now go ahead and modify the prompt. Number of images, I'm just gonna go ahead and select one. For the alchemy, I'll just turn this off. For the prompt magic, let's just go ahead and leave it on. And for the dimensions, let's just go over and click 16 by 9 right here. After that, we could now go ahead and change the animation style. Go ahead and click on the fine tune model right here and make sure to go for the 3D animation style. After all of that, you may now go ahead and click on generate and it will now go ahead and generate our image for us. Now that we have our image right here, we could now go ahead and click on it. And in order to download this fantastic image, just go ahead and click on the download image right here and it will instantly download the image for us. The only thing left to do now is to go ahead and copy the rest of the prompt and let's now go ahead and generate it one by one. After downloading every image that you have, we can now go ahead and proceed to the next step. So over to 11 labs, just go ahead and create your account. You're gonna be presented with this page and we're just gonna go ahead and go back to ChatGPT. We're gonna go ahead and copy our story and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it to this text box right here. After pasting it to text box, just go ahead and select your preferred voice right here. For my personal perspective, I'm just gonna go for Bella right here because it perfectly fits the childish story that we are generating. Just go on over and select your preferred voice and after that just go on click generate. It will go ahead and generate the voice for us, we just have to wait a few minutes to process it in. Now that it has finished generating the entire script right here, we can now go ahead and proceed by clicking on the download button right now. And it will go ahead and instantly download the voice for us. For our next tool, we're gonna use Runway ML. This is basically where we could go ahead and animate our images. Just go on over and click Try Runway for free. And just go ahead and log in your account. 
After that, we're now presented with this page right here and we're gonna go ahead and find text slash image to video. We're gonna go ahead and click on this feature right here and it will now proceed us to this page right now. Just go on over and upload your file. And it will now go ahead and animate the image for us. Now that it has finished animating our image, we can now go ahead and preview the animation. Now that you see that it's perfect, we can now go ahead and download the video by clicking on the download icon right here. And it will instantly download the video for us. After downloading your animated video, we can now go ahead and upload another one. But first, let's now go ahead and click on the trash icon right here. Let's go ahead and click on upload a file and let's go ahead and add another image. After uploading your image, we can now go ahead and click on the generate button once more. We could also do the same thing, just go ahead and download your animated video. Erase the current uploaded image and go ahead and upload the next image. Let's just go ahead and do the exact same thing for the rest of our images right here. Now that we have our image and now that we have our voice, the only thing left to do now is edit them all together. So we're just gonna use this tool called CapCut but if you're already using another editing software, you could go ahead and do so. In order to download CapCut, just go ahead and visit CapCut.com, click on the install, install the file and you will now be presented with this menu right here. You can now go ahead and select new project. And this is pretty much our template right here. So guys, just follow my lead. Just upload every animated videos that we have into CapCut. And you could also do the same thing for our 11 Labs voice. Add the picture one by one. And you could also do the same thing for your voice. Just drag it inside your template. Well, now that we have adjusted everything, just make sure to align every video into every voice right here. And in order to further enhance our animation, we could just go ahead and upload a subtitle. We could go ahead and do so by clicking on the text icon right here. Go ahead and click on auto caption and go ahead and click on create. After clicking create, we're now presented with this auto-generated captions. But this is far from perfect, so we should go ahead and definitely edit the subtitles. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit them. If you are having a hard time using CapCut, just go ahead and follow my lead. For the preset, we're just gonna use this one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and align them a little down below. And I'm also gonna enlarge the font by a little. After that, you can go ahead and review all of your subtitles. And as you can see, there are no overlapping subtitles, so we should be good to go. The only thing left to do now is to export the video. We could go ahead and do that by clicking on the export button. And this is where we could go ahead and modify our video. You can go ahead and change your title here. Change your resolution. Change the bitrate, codec, format, frame rate. We're just gonna go ahead and uncheck the caption exporting because it requires subscription. We can now go ahead and export the video. Just click on the export button and it will now load in. So this is our finished product. Once upon a time in a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a curious boy named Timmy. One bright and sunny morning, Timmy decided to embark on a grand adventure. He started by exploring the meadow behind his house. The tall grasses tickled his legs as he waded through them, searching for hidden treasures. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll see you again next time. Thank you.